everyone. In this video, I want to find the partial, the partial fraction expansion of this partial fraction. So, uh, what we should do first, we first need to write to find the right hand side of these partial fractions. We can see that we have x squared plus 1 to the second power. So, by using partial fraction expansion, we know that the right hand side is going to have the following form. I will have the first partial fraction x squared plus 1 and on the top I will have ax plus b and the reason why I have ax plus b because x squared plus 1 equals to 0 doesn't have real roots so that's why we have ax plus b and then next one I will have x squared plus 1 squared and since we already used a and b, so we'll have cx plus d. Okay, so my goal here is to find our a, b, and c. I'm going to show you the way how we can find a, b, c, and d for this problem and for a lot of problems super fast. So the idea is the following. So first, let's multiply both sides by x squared plus 1 squared. So on the left hand side, I will get x squared plus x plus 1 and on the right hand side I will have ax plus b uh, times x squared plus 1 and since if I multiply uh, my next fraction x squared plus 1 squared uh, is going to cancel so I will have just cx plus d yes so usually you know if I want to find for example coefficient d I need to move plug in x. x equals to root of this equation. But this equation doesn't have real roots. And the roots of this equation x equals plus minus i. So actually, for this problem, we can find c and d super fast if we're going to plug in our roots plus minus i. And you will see uh, what I will get. So let's first plug it in, x equals to i. So when x equals to i, what I will get on the left hand side? i squared is just minus 1 plus i plus uh, 1. On the right hand side, this equation is going to be equal to 0. So I will have 0. And then I will have c times i plus d. Okay. For my second x, equals to minus i. Uh, and let's actually let me finish the first one. So from the first equation I will get that uh, d plus c times i equals to minus 1 plus 1 gonna get cancelled so equals to i. And here we can see that uh, it's not enough uh, just one equation to solve for d and c. So let's plug it in uh, my second root for my equation. So for my second root, I will have the same minus 1, but since x equals minus i will have minus i, then plus 1. And for the same reason, I will have that this uh, equation equals to 0, so my first fraction is 0. And plus, uh, but in this case, I will have c times minus i plus d. And you can easily see that from my, and the same minus 1 and 1 get cancelled, that I will get d minus ci equals to minus i. Okay, right now I have these two equations. So what I can do, I can solve system of this equation. Don't be scared of these complex numbers. You can see in this case, so what can I do? I can find d super easily if I will take both sides and just add them up. So what I will get, on the right hand side I will get 2d plus 0 because ci and minus ci are going to get cancelled and the left hand side also 0. So from here I will get that 2d equals to 0, 2 is not 0, so I can cancel out 2, so just d equals 0. Okay, we found our d. But we can find our c also really easily. Why? Because I know that d plus ci equals to i. So when d equals to 0 I have that ci equals to i. And since uh, i is not 0, I can cancel out by i, so we have that c equals to 1. Okay, and we found our c. So for our partial fraction, 
we can write uh, our partial solution is in the following form. So we have x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared equals to uh, ax plus b over x squared plus 1. And what we know about c, c is 1, so we have x, d is 0, so we have x squared plus 1. Okay. Uh, and my solution, right now we need to find a and b. And the strategy for finding this a and b is really simple. Once you found the partial fraction with a bigger power, you just need to take this bigger power and move on the left hand side. And you will see why. So let's take the right hand, uh, this part, second partial fraction and move it to the right hand side. I can see that uh, they have the same base. Yes. So, and I have x on the left hand side and x on the right hand side. So when I'm going to move this partial fraction to the right, this x is going to uh, cancel with this x. So what actually I will get? I will get x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared equals to ax plus b over x squared plus 1. Yes, but here on the left hand side you can see that x squared plus 1 and x squared plus 1 squared can be cancelled. So actually on the left hand side I will get 1 x squared plus 1 equals ax plus b over ax plus x squared plus 1. And here really easily you can see the left hand side is just 0 times x plus 1. So from this expression I can get that my a actual equals to 0 and my b equals to 1. I just need to multiply both sides by x squared plus 1 and move ax plus b to the left hand side and you will get this answer. So actually we got our final answer and our final answer is that x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared equals a equals 0 b equals 1 so I have 1 x squared plus 1 and uh, we have plus uh, x x squared plus 1 squared okay and this is the final answer for the partial fraction expansion okay guys thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and see you soon bye bye